what is up, you guys? Chelsea Briggs here. We are hanging out at The Grove, and I'm so excited to be joined by Lauren Geraldo. Hey. How's it going? It's good. Teachers on the first day. Hi, welcome to my class. Let's have a great year. Second week. Set your dirty butts down! If I was your girlfriend. Just kidding, I never want to be your girlfriend. You smell like cheese and I don't like cheese, so get out of my face right now. Get out of my face. You're kind of the queen of Vine. Do you this take that title? Me, Do you but... accept that title? Yes. <laughs> I'm write it on my forehead. It's been so cool, though, to see you kind of come into fame so quickly. How is that? How do you kind of describe that? I don't, I don't think I came into fame. I think it's cool, though. Yeah. Having followers. But how is that? I mean, that's, that's crazy all of a sudden to go from yeah. posting something on Vine and not having people watching you, and then all of a sudden you have these people watching yeah. you. It's definitely really crazy. I'm still not used to it. I'm still like, what's going on? But it's fun. But it's also opened up a lot of doors for you, so yeah. that's been cool, I'm sure, yeah. to see, to go to the red carpets. And what's been kind of the best part for you? Moving to L.A. I was so ready to move on to the next chapter of my life, and like coming to L.A. to pursue things like YouTube and acting and singing is like the best. So the fact that I've moved to, like, in my opinion, the best place in the world is the best thing that's happened so far. I agree with you. Best place in the world. Yeah. Wait, where are you from? I'm from Michigan. Oh. So. <laughs> she goes, oh. I mean, what's there to do in Michigan? Like, right? you have lakes, right? Well, it's, we have lakes, and it's really cold in the winter. Okay, yeah. So it's like LA, sunny all year round. We'll take it. Yeah. Being a part of the YouTube community, I feel like everyone's really supportive. Mm -hmm. What's been your experience? with? Well, I have a lot of friends in YouTube, so I think the majority of my friends are on YouTube. So it's like, wait, so since this is kind of our jobs in a sense, like, are we coworkers? Like, how does, <laughs> yeah. like, what? It's so weird. It's such a different space. And, like, once you're in it, it's so confusing, but it's the best. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, I saw you did a bunch of collaborations, too. Yeah. So I did a whole thing on my channel called Lauren & Co where I collabed with a bunch of YouTubers and it was so much fun because some of them I had never even met before and then it's like, wait, we do the same thing and then yeah. you can like relate in that way and like the compare, the contrast, it's awesome. Well, you kind of got shy when I said the fame thing, but I'm sure you get recognized a lot, so that's what I mean as well, right? Yeah. So what's been kind of the cra a, a crazy story with being recognized or? Well, when I moved into my new apartment, I had three girls there waiting. <laughs> Like they had already known where How I was How do they moving. know? I don't know. I was like, oh no, I don't live here. I'm just like visiting a friend. They're like, no, we know you're moving here. <laughs> you're like, like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I, was just, I didn't even know what to do. Well, you are so funny. I love watching your vines. Thanks. Um, how do you kind of come up with them? I have no idea. People ask me this all the time. Yeah. I'm just like, the idea comes to me like five minutes before and then I'm like, okay. But I like every time I try to plan a vine, because I'm like, wait, I haven't posted in a while. I should post, I, my mind goes blank. But then when I'm like, hey, okay, then it just, I just do it. It happens, yeah. and those are probably the best ones, too. Yeah. I love that you just said you're a fan of Hollywire. Yes, okay, okay, no, look, I'm gonna tell her what I, I'm gonna tell you what I just told her, so, Hollywire <laughs> spills all the tea, like, they never care. You call out people, and I'm, I live for it, because you know how, like, some YouTubers, they'll be like, well, like, I'm not gonna say anything good about them, I'm not gonna say anything bad about them, like, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but, like, like, who wants to hear that? Like, you guys are so blunt about it. Well. That's why I love it. I'm but obsessed. we're positive. We, we, yeah, you, yeah, you definitely have positive. a positive as opposed Spin. to a negative, but you still say what the, the facts. <laughs> right. State the facts. That's right. You have an amazing voice, and I'm really excited for you to be following your dreams of singing and putting music out there. Talk to me. Tell your fans what you're working on right now. Yeah, I'm so excited. So I grew up um, doing musical theater and singing. No, I'm not going to be making musicals for you, but, um, yeah, I'm going to be in the studio for a whole week making music and really finding what my sound is and coming out with music that I'm really excited to put out. And I'm not gonna put anything out that I wouldn't wanna hear myself. What do you kind of feel as though your sound is gonna be? Is it more pop, is it? So it's alternative pop. So it's yeah. not pop like 2009 Hannah Montana, like <laughs> let's get the party started. But it's definitely gonna be cool to listen to, but like lyrically cool and I'm so excited. Why do I feel like you're gonna be very blunt in your songs? Yeah. And you're going to be very truthful in your songs. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the case. <laughs> and have you been in the studio yet? Is that did yeah. I hear you are? Okay. Yeah, so I've been in the studio a couple times, and it's definitely cool working with producers and song, just like figuring out how the whole thing works. And it's like, whoa, this is how a song is made. Like, it's so cool. Yeah. Seeing the back end. So at first I was just like, wait, this is so cool. And then I'm like, all right, let's actually do it now. And it's awesome to be a part of the process. And it's like, I can actually make a sound that I love and That's I so cool. do it. It's so cool, yeah. Well, what is inspiring you, you right now in your life? Like, what do you think your music is going to kind of draw from? Uh, well, my life right now, I'm at a point, you know, I lived at home. I'm living alone now, kind of figuring myself out. So I think probably lyrically that'll have a big impact on it. Definitely, probably some guy stuff. Boys, they always somehow make their way. And they just, they're just in every song, right? <laughs> Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, girl knows. She knows. That girl knows what's up. She knows with the boys. <laughs> with the heartbreak and the boys. Like every weekend. What if you could pick like the perfect person to collab with? Who would be like your go-to? Definitely a boy. Every time I hear a collab between a girl and a girl, 
this is just me, but I just like pay attention. I'm like, who's better? And then, like, when I <laughs> watch music videos, I'm like, wait, who's hotter? Like, who's... <laughs> So I want to collab with a boy, preferably like an attractive one who has like a nice voice. I mean, like, could you imagine like a collab between Lauren and Zayn? I mean, I would die. I would die I for would, you. Thanks. I feel like that is really could happen. Maybe in like ten years. Okay, first of all, let's Five let's say years? three at, at the most. Ooh. We need to make hey, this happen. Zane, okay, so this is gonna be like the before footage, and then in three years we'll have after footage when we're like engaged and we have two hit singles. So oh. hey, we'll we'll play this at the wedding. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, yes, never mind. We're playing at the wedding. You should ask Zane. You're going to be there and you're going to be like, I told I'll be you. Like, I did this. I this love you. connection happened because of me. You should ask Zane if he can heal collab with you. Zane, um, I just have an offer that I would really love for you to consider. Do you want to collab with me? And then in three years, marry me. We have the flower girl. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. I can throw flowers <laughs> like a champ. Is there anything, you know, dates or deadlines or when can you expect? When can they expect? So Thanks. I'm going to be the 21st I get in the studio. I'm going to be in there for a week. And I'm trying to release music ASAP, so I think I'm gonna do like a single first. I don't even know, but soon. I'm gonna ask you five like quick hot seat type questions, okay? Yes. Nerdiest obsession. You mean like math and science and stuff? No, like is there something you collect or you get nerdy about comic books or she's just too cool for us, you guys? I don't even <laughs> nerd. No, I'm sure I definitely have nerdy things. I just definitely not like school related nerdiness. <laughs> so what is it about you that's so cool? <laughs> I just like have no like math and science. Like okay. I was always bad at math, okay. always bad at science. Never collected anything. Okay. Maybe Polaroids, but that's not even like that's nerdy. Cool. Is that no, artsy? I like that stuff. It's like okay. quirky, you know. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I so like quirky it. with my Polaroids, just like everyone else. You know, it's actually not quirky. It's hipster. Oh God. Right. Who is your celebrity crush? Uh, at the moment, probably James Franco. Oh, oh nice. God. Have you met him yet? No. I will die. I'm one of the. I'll crack under pressure. I'll be like. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. I won't let Zane see this part of the interview. No, he's gonna get jealous. <laughs> I know, he'll get really jealous. Just, I mean, what's the one word that you overuse? Literally. Okay. So literally, literally and like, like I literally like don't even know. Like I love it. Like literally. Oh my god, I hate it. I hate that I do that. <laughs> How about your most embarrassing moment? Every single thing that comes out of my mouth is just I regret it. Ten minutes later, I'm like, <laughs> Lauren, was that necessary, or could you have avoided that entire <laughs> sentence? Three things you do on your day off: take selfies, mm -hmm. shop and eat. Nice, I like that. Sounds like a great day. So fun. <laughs> um, and lastly, what is your go-to dance move? Shake my butt. And show us. Show you? I mean, you can do it like sitting down. You just gotta like, eh. <laughs> you gotta shake. <laughs> you gotta shake your butt. I'm from Miami. You're the best. We awesome. do that there. I like that. Lauren, you're awesome. I'm so excited for your music. I'm Keep so kicking excited. butt. I'm so glad we did it. Yay, I'm so glad we did it too. <laughs> and Zane, hey. Watch hey. out. You don't even know yet. But when we get married, she's going to come, and then after she comes, she's going to spill tea about it. Yep, I'm going to spill tea about it. I, I think I should actually officiate the wedding. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 okay. So, she's officiating the wedding. Right here, Lauren Malik. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.